If you're trying to figure out whether your spark plug wires are good or bad, one of the things that can go wrong is that the conductors can fail. To test the conductors, you'll need a meter that measures resistance. This multimeter has auto range, so to read resistance, I just need to point the dial to the omega symbol, and the multimeter will automatically select the correct range. If your multimeter is not auto ranging, then you'll have to dial into the correct range once you have the meter leads connected to the wires. Connect the meter leads into the correct sockets. The black lead will go into the common socket and the red lead will go into the one with the omega symbol or ohms. The first thing is to make sure that your multimeter and the leads are in good condition with the multimeter leads plugged into the correct sockets and positioned into the K ohm selection. Clip the leads together or hold them together and you should read maybe one or two ohms on the display. Then wiggle the leads around and ensure that the reading does not change. If it jumps around then it's likely that the meter leads are broken and you'll need to replace those before continuing on to the next step. It's difficult to find out what resistance reading you should read for spark plug wires. It can vary greatly depending upon the type or brand. The important thing that you need to know is whether or not the conductors on the wires are good. I'll test this set of 16 year old Honda OEM wires. I'll start by measuring the resistance on the shortest wire of the set. This one's about 13 inches long. Clip one meter lead onto one end of the wire and I'm going to use a screwdriver that I'm going to push into this end and I'll put the other lead onto the screwdriver. It doesn't matter which way the leads are connected when you're reading resistance and the multimeter reads 7.48 K ohms. Now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to wiggle the wire around and the reading should stay steady at 7.48. If it bounces around a whole lot that means that the conductor inside of the casing is broken and that wire is bad. The next wire is about 15 inches long. The reading on this wire is 8.3 K ohms and when I wiggle it around the resistance reading does not change and by the way you want to make sure that when you're clipping on to these metal connections that they're corrosion free if they're corroded, you won't get a good reading. The next longest wire is about 20 inches long. This wire reads about 10.57 K ohms. It passes the wiggle test. You should be noticing a pattern. The longer the wire, the more resistance that you'll read. If I do a little rough math, I can figure out how much resistance I should read on the last wire. If uh, you remember, the last wire was 20 inches and it measured about 10.56 K ohms. So roughly we say 10 K ohms for 20 inches. That would be about a half a K ohm per inch of wire. So the 13 inch wire was 7.48 K ohms and the 15 inch wire was 8.34 K ohms. The last and longest wire that we'll measure is about 21 inches long and we can figure that that should read around maybe 11K. And 
sure enough it reads about 11.1 K ohms and it also passes the wiggle test. Summing things up, even if you don't know the correct resistance readings you should get for a set of wires, if you measure them all, you should be able to figure out any that don't fit in the pattern with the amount of res resistance that you should read. Even though the conductors tested good on this set of wires, when I changed them out, the gas mileage on the car improved by about four or five miles per gallon. What was most likely happening with this set of wires is that the insulation was starting to break down. If you want to check on that, a lot of people will open the car hood at night and look at it while it's running and look for sparks. And then an additional test would be to spray some water on the wires while it's running at night and see a few sparks then. Uh, that would be an indication that the insulation is breaking down. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.